Listen, Harry, can you do me a favor? It's a rush job. What about my lunch? We gotta have some more framing by two o'clock. You mind? Four by fours? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Harry. You know. Not good. I got him to the hospital right away. Must have been a knot in the wood or something. I don't know. A freak, I guess. A freak accident. There's no such thing. Yeah, you'd better fill this out. Paperwork? Afraid so. You're the foreman. I don't have time for this. I didn't make time. Your investigation may help prevent another accident. Did you lock out the machine? No, I didn't. Suppose the saw's faulty. Anybody using it could get hurt, the same as Harry. When was it last checked out? Maintenance, I don't know. Then find out. And I suggest you get some help with that report. Somebody from the Safety and Health Committee. Okay, I'll ask Laura. She's from my shop, and she's done these investigations before. I'll have to clear it with the committee. Good. That's a start. She'll be a big help. Look, John, I know you're new to this job. But if you're going to make a success out of it, you've got to understand one thing. We care about safety around here. That guy in the hospital is no good to me. He's no good to you, to himself, or to his family. Got it? Yeah. And get to the bottom of it. I don't want this to happen again. Very good. Looks like you might lose an eye. Are you the investigator? That's me. And I sure could use your help. Well, you got it. Great. And the first thing we better do is stop him. Peter, what? Well, there might be a clue there somewhere. Uh, Peter, uh, you want to leave that for a while? Fine. Have you done one of these before? No. Have you got a general idea of what happened? Yeah. He was uh, ripping some four by fours and something flew into his eye. He wouldn't let anybody touch it. There's a lot of blood, and he was really in pain. He didn't have his glasses on? No, I guess it uh, slipped his mind. Well, that's not like Harry. Was he in a rush? Yeah. It was a last-minute job. You know how it goes? Yeah, I know. Did anybody see what happened? I don't know. It was lunch hour. Did you ask? Maybe Peter. OK, well, we better check and see if there's anyone else. Yeah. Remember, we're not trying to blame anybody. We're looking for help. We need cooperation. And if we do find any people who saw the accident, we'll talk to them one at a time. Fine. Let's get to it right away. At least we know he wasn't wearing his protective glasses. Such a simple mistake. 
Maybe not that simple. We should have this saw checked out so we can get back in production. I won't need it today. Harriet almost finished, and we moved the rest of the lumber out. Moving the evidence? Mistake, right? Mistake. Anyway, let's talk to Peter, and we'll have a look around here and get that load of lumber back. Peter, got a minute? Sure. It's about Harry's accident. I really want to get to the bottom of this. You know, it could happen to any one of us. Did you see what happened by any chance? You're not going to use my name, are you? Not if you don't want us to. Listen, we're not looking to blame anybody. We just want to find out what happened. And then maybe we can stop it from happening again. Now, just tell me in your own words what you saw. I'm going to take a couple of notes so I don't forget. Well, I was cleaning up by the belt sander and... Uh... Okay, now let me see if I got you straight. Yes, Doctor. This is John Henderson. I was just wondering how Harry's doing. Metal? Are you sure it was metal? more complicated than I thought. It usually is. Harry was injured because a carbide tip flew off the blade into his eye. But that wasn't the cause of the accident. It seems like a bunch of things caused it. You got it, Sherlock. We can trace what caused the injury. What we need to find out is what caused the accident. It's two entirely different things. Yeah, I guess so. Yes, hello. My name is John Henderson. I'm carpentry shop foreman at Props Industries. We borrow wood from you. Yeah. I wonder if you can answer a couple of questions. 
Are you sure it's okay now? Yeah, it's perfect. When did you last check this, son? Uh, we do them every three months or so. But I think I got a special here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. What's this for? It was jamming on the four by fours. George, this is four months old. Yeah, well, the guy I work with, he's been sick. Heart attack. He's been off for four months now. I see. I said double cream, you idiot. Trouble? This machine, I think it hates me. <laughs> Come on. Last week I pressed coffee and it gave me chicken soup. So I pressed chicken soup. What'd you get? Chicken soup. <laughs> How's the report coming? Well, I'll have it finished tomorrow, but they're not gonna like it. What do you mean? The thing that happened to Harry, it seemed like it was just a stupid accident, right? It would be easy to say he didn't have his glasses on, that that's why he got hurt. But it goes deeper than that, much deeper. And I'm not sure that writing a report is going to do much good. Why not? Well, it means some changes, and I'm not sure how they're going to take it. It's really complicated. Well, just keep it simple. Who, what, where, why, when, how? Yeah, but how to keep it from happening again? That's it. It's not just one thing. It's partly Harry, but it's partly me, too. It's partly Bud, partly the system. Believe it or not, it's even partly the economy. The economy? Okay, just hear me out, all right? Maintenance has had a guy off sick for the last four months. Heart problem. The company decides that one man can handle all the servicing of the shops for a while. In four months, the guy hasn't had time to modify a defective saw guard. There's got to be a system that gives priority to work orders that involve safety. A saw guard? And that's only part of it. You remember that report you did last year on the cost of wood? And we decided to use recycled lumber instead of the new stuff? Sure. Well, who was supposed to inspect the wood for old nails? The guys we buy it from. Well, I called our suppliers. And they claimed they did check the wood. But that load was shipped late on a Friday afternoon. So maybe they didn't check it closely enough. And we have no system to double check the wood when it comes in here. So, I put a rush on Harry. Harry does me a favor. And he forgets his glasses. We're using recycled wood and the wood hasn't been properly inspected, and there's a bloody great nail in it. The saw guard hasn't been modified because a guy had a heart attack four months ago, and Harry has to take the saw guard off in order to get the job done. You put all those factors together and Harry loses an eye. So what do you recommend? There's a machine for detecting metal in wood, and we should have one. I got some information on it. As for the maintenance problem, that's something you're going to have to take upstairs. And I guess it's up to me to make some changes in my own shop. What changes? Basic stuff. Our safety and health inspections have to be more thorough. We need more insistence on safe work practices. It means training people better and making sure they stick to the standards. Are you going to put all that in your report? What do you think? No sense doing it unless we're going to do it right. Oh, John. Good job. Thanks. Well? It's done. He agreed. Now it's up to all of us to make it work. Right. Come on, I'll buy you a chicken soup. Ha, <laughs> great. <laughs>